Thanks. Good job. <laughs> Brian has already had a beer. <laughs> Brian's already had several. Most freshwater fish usually feed at dusk and dawn, which is why I had to get you up here so early. Yeah, I know. That's pretty common. Fisherman knowledge, after all. Fisherman knowledge that I am knowledgeable about. And all the knowledge of knowing things. Still a gambling man? You know it. Don't add more to the bat. Oh, Let's man. see if you can catch the more, more fish. Oh, you are so gonna lose. You can catch more than one? Oh, God. <laughs> Sounds easy enough to me. Huh. Huh, what's on the line? Hmm. Besides all the fish I'm gonna catch. Huh. Obviously. Uh. I was thinking something a little more high stakes than mowing the lawn. Oh, God. Custody of our children? <laughs> more than that. Let's say, oh, if I geez. win, I get your weed whacker. <laughs> the Whack Master 2000? But that's a limited edition! But if you win, you get my pole saw. The reach and cut. 30,000. 30, 30,000, eh? 30,000. Yep. Woo! That's so futuristic. The cordless version? That's the one. Shit! The Reach and Cut 3000 is state of the art! My weed whacker is my prized possession, but there are those hard to reach branches at the back of the yard that have been begging for a pruning. Uh, why are you just share that? You're on! How dare you bring logic into this? Shut up and go pick more bugs. <laughs> <laughs> we shake on it. Just I suddenly. I suddenly remember that I don't know how to fucking fish. My foolish fatherly pride will one day be my undoing. That day is this day. I watch as Brian ties a lure and does some stuff I can't quite follow with his fishing pole, and he casts it into the lake. Oh boy. Now I have to do that. I stare down at the tackle box and at the pole in my hand. Put some bait on the hook, and salt the fish, stretch before physical activity. <laughs> bait on the hook. Oh god. Bait on the hook. Yeah. A fish. I fish a worm from the styrofoam container Brian brought. It's slippery, but I think I can get it out of the hook if I just focus. You bend it in half and sort of jab the hook through it. Oh god. I'm bleeding. Oh god, the blood's everywhere. Like after all blood. this dating, after I all this dating, I'm wound. not gonna have any thumbs. I restab my thumb wound thumb. from Robert's date. <laughs> the worm is not on the hook. I am on the hook. Need some help. It's easy. Just pull the hook all the way through as long as it's not one of the multi prongs. No, I meant to do that. The blood attracts the fish. They can smell it up to a mile away, you know. That's a shark, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's sharks. <laughs> No, it's definitely a fish. All fish. Every fish. Now what? Now what? Now what? Fish mating call! Perform fish mating call. <laughs> Tie a knot or something. Meditate. Tie a knot or Tie something. Tie a knot. <laughs> I take my pole and try to tie an elaborate looking knot to impress Brian. The classic hunter's bend. I actually learned that one in my youth. Yep, this one isn't coming apart anytime soon. With this knot, I will cast my heavenly line upon the unsuspecting water and deliver unto us a bountiful harvest. I look over to Brian. He doesn't seem to be paying any attention. <laughs> Let's cast this sucker. I pull my rod back and launch the lure as hard as I can. Oh. And the lure flies off the line and sails far, far away, landing on the lake with a large spoosh. <laughs> oh shit, sorry, I... I judged the wind speed wrong. This cold air drives the pressure down, you know. <laughs> Go ahead and take my pole. Uh, I know it's hard switching to a new pole you're not used to. I'll fix up another lure. Brian is well aware that I don't know how to fucking fish. I think real me knows how to fish more. <laughs> Brian hands me his pole with a smile, and I just sit there, feeling like an idiot. Well, where we're from, it's like inherent in all children. Yeah, well, sort of, I guess. I kind of know how to fish, I just don't know how to tie the knots. Yeah, take the knots care. take a little oh. doing. Oh no. <laughs> 
Fisher out here is easy. They grew up. They group up. All you gotta do is line up three of the same species and reel them in. Oh, like I need to match three of the same species. Ugh, I can't tell them apart. I oh, come on, it's easy. Match, match that, that fish. fish. Match well, that fish. Shit. Get a move on. You got three up there. You got cat, three catfish up there on the, the right hand side. Nice, man. Yes. Okay, okay, I'll shut up. That's the northern pack. Sport, I don't fucking care. Shut up. My time's wasted. I don't think he wants you to catch that one because it's nasty. Catch it, the day. Catch it, the day. Ooh, nice I'm double. Good job. Combos, man. Catch it, the day. Catch it, the day. No, we're probably doing all right. Nice catch. Let's see. Nice catch. Nice man. Catch yes. the day. Are you gonna get it? Catch the day. I didn't forget. Nice man. She doesn't know. So I'm being quiet. Now you're fishing. Ish. Catch the day. Oh, he says something when I catch the day. Nice catch. Catch the day. Boom. Nice catch. Come on, now you're fishing. Match of the day. Pretend we're playing uh, Honey Pot. Nice cat. <laughs> I'm really constantly. Dina does. What, Auntie? What? I have what? Nice honey cat. Pot. No, my husband does. I do what not. What the frick? He's a man. Match of the day. He likes boots. Match of the day. Oh, so if you mess up, he pops up. Yeah. yeah. You got those three bass up there. Yeah, there's three bass up there. I'm trying to click that, he's not there. That's there we go. Vision. Got those three uh, bass hurt. there. Aww. Good work. Oh, it's hard to do it at an angle. I'm sorry. I'm looking at it like, you know. Yeah. I think we did okay. Good work. Wow, this is way tougher than I thought. I look over to Brian, who's smiling and obviously enjoying his time out here on the lake. I will crush him and his soul, just like my dad. Suddenly, the fishing pole jumps in my hand and I reflexively tug upwards and snap the damn thing. I think I got something big in my pants. <laughs> the Stop. tip of the pole dips down repeatedly and the line starts to run. I bet it's a tire. <laughs> hey. it in! I forgot I'm Ryan. I finally get this fish right up next to the boat. It's a long, beautiful rainbow trout. Brian hands me a net. Oh, that's gonna it's be nice yours. and tasty. I lean down and notice that my hands are shaking with excitement. This fish is bigger than all the ones Brian's caught. That pole size mine. Oh, my. Read it on to The entire yep. canoe trips over with me. I found myself sinking into the lake. Oh, you got me. I should have taken the shit. life vest. I did take the life vest. All of a sudden, I'm embraced under the water and pulled into Brian's arms. I'm finally dragged upward, sputtering water. All of our gear floats on the surface. Maxwell doggy paddles around us in circles, having a great time. <laughs> Oh. You alright? Does that count as one? Well, <laughs> seeing as all our fish are now swimming safely back into the lake, I guess so. I made all my work for nothing. I'm sorry. I swear real me knows how to fish. I also know how to uncapsize my canoe. Brian laughs at me. <laughs> Let's get you to shore. Brian and I flip the canoe back over and fill it with our now soaking wet gear. Oof, been there, done that. We row back to the shore with Maxwell in tow. Oh no, oh no. Uh. Uh. sinuses are allergic to Brian's burly dad bod. Oh, my AC kicked in. And I actually expected him to be more hairy than this, but, you know, whatever. Ew. What, because he's a ginger? Or because he's a bear? I don't know. Both. He's a ginger bear. Ginger bear. He's a red panda? 
<laughs> Once we get to the beach, Maxwell darts off into the woods. Oh, that's not good. Brian takes off his shirt. Dots of lake water glisten in the sun across his strong back. Ew. <laughs> Man, all that general contracting must have built that guy like an ox or a bear. <laughs> I hope he doesn't notice me staring. Stop staring! <laughs> You're so lonely. Hey. I'm gonna get a fire going so we can dry off. Wanna hand me yours? Boy, do I. I, uh, yes. Yes, okay. I reluctantly take off my own shirt and toss it to Brian. I suddenly wish I had done more sit-ups in my life, or any sit-ups at all, really. Another thing you have bested me in, stupid sexy Flanders. <laughs> you might as well fry that shirt up. Seems like it's the only lunch we'll have. Hey. Today's young. We can fish from the shore. <clears throat> Once Brian gets the fire going, I sit and try to dry off my pants. Brian sets a couple lures out by the water's edge. So you win the bet? We're probably gonna have to put the kibosh on the competition for now. Aw, oh, man. Till another day. <laughs> my stomach growls. You hungry? Uh-huh. Oh, I'm fine. It's fasting day. Yeah. <laughs> It is now. <laughs> Brian reaches into his cargo shorts and pulls out a few granola bars. Wouldn't they be wet? Yeah, so not necessarily. Uh, I have a small child. I am flushed with snacks. Yeah. Brian joins me by the fire, and I accept the cargo short granola. And now we're back to waiting. Perfect. Where did the girls get off to? Shouldn't they be back by now? Uh, I won't worry about it too much. There are a couple of smart kids. That's what I'm worried about. Uh oh, oh woof. They're too smart. They've probably established a small rural government at this point and installed themselves as the de facto leaders. I take a look around at the sun cresting the tree line, casting the entire lake in a warm golden glow. The forest seems to be coming alive now. Birds chirp in the distance. Wow, nature is beautiful. Still getting eaten alive by mosquitoes, though. Yeah, a mosquito bites me. I slap my neck and curse. Nature sucks. Told you to read you gotta... first. <laughs> no, <laughs> never. This isn't about <laughs> you. It's about fake well, you. I'm sorry that fake me is disturbingly close to real me. <laughs> Here you go, bud. Brian hands me a bottle of bug spray. I begrudgingly take it and douse myself. In all your half-naked glory. Yeah. Oh. Always hated how this stuff smells. Oh god, deep woods off. Oof. Really? I've always kind of liked it. it. Reminds me of being outside. Reminds me of accidentally spraying it in my fucking mouth. And I assume. Maybe you and I have different sentiments on the outdoors. Yeah. Aww. Maxwell comes bounding up to me, a huge stick in his teeny little chubby mouth. He drops Aww. it at my feet and looks at me expectantly. Oh, I'm so cute. Throw the stick towards <gasps> the woods. Throw. Fake out throw. Break the stick fake in half. Fake out throw. <laughs> I love fake out throw. Oh yeah. We've offered every Our, uh, time. Mabel, Mabel, no, Mabel has figured it out. Oh, she didn't really like that. That probably is. I wind up and pretend to throw the stick. Maxwell runs away for a second and then looks around, confused. <laughs> <laughs> Brian and I laugh. I toss the stick to Maxwell for real, and he jumps up to catch it in his mouth. Thank you, Drake. Good job. Is it a little messed up that we're taking advantage of a dog's inherent trust in humans for our own amusement? Yeah, it is kind of messed up, now, isn't it? Hmm. <laughs> as long as he still gets the stick afterwards, it's fine. Maxwell, get over here. I gotta make it up to you. Yeah. It's time for the pets. What's the plan? But pets never easy. fail. Scratch behind his ears. Rub that. Rub that belly. Ooh, corgis do love a good butt pat. Say. 
I rubbed his ears last time. Let's go for the butt. No, you pat him on the head butt last pats. time. Butt pats. Well, that was a scratch. <laughs> oh. I give Maxwell a few good pats on his backside. Who's a silly doggy? Who's got a silly chubby buns? While I'm playing with Maxwell, fish begin routinely pulling on Brian's lines. I watch Brian effortlessly fillet the fish, squeeze a bit of lemon on them, and fry them up in a cast iron pan. Before we know it, we have a feast fit for a couple of shirtless dudes. Gross. Amanda and Daisy emerge from the woods looking totally unscathed. Whoa. Dad bod patrol. I'm gonna have to issue, issue you both for both a citation and demand you both put your shirts on. There are children present. <laughs> Brian tosses me my now dry shirt. I pull it over my head, thankful that I will no longer be distracted by Brian and his stupid sexy pecs. Stop. <laughs> Where have you guys been? Studying in uh, uh, huh? entomology. Entomology. That means bugs. What? <laughs> we are playing with bugs. Sorry, more tea. Ah. Hmm. I expected you guys to be more covered in like mud and stuff. Nah. Daisy looks offended. <gasps> what do you take me for? A child? <laughs> Uh, Amanda puts a hand on Daisy's shoulder. Aww. Right. <laughs> we take a seat around the fire and Brian serves us all generous piles of fish on paper plates. It's absolutely delicious. Why does he have to be good at everything? I hate you, Dad! Fish taste okay? Daisy and Amanda both nod furiously. Mouths full of fish. Tastes amazing. It's delicious as I cry as it is still ashes in my mouth. <laughs> it is incredible. I've never had fish this good. Yeah, it's great. See, we, I couldn't date Brian. At all. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, this would taste great. It was doused in tartar sauce and mayo. You are not the outdoorsy no, fish type. No, I am deer. not. Oh my god, um, so Eric's sister's getting married, and we're hoping next year when we go up for the wedding that we actually get a hold of some deer, because cause they both hunt. So we we got our fingers crossed. Where are they stationed? Because we haven't- we haven't- live? <laughs> Talking military, yeah. <laughs> Minnesota, you ding-dong. <laughs> we haven't had any deer since we left Minnesota, because they don't- they aren't exactly plentiful in Phoenix. <laughs> yeah, let's also- with, that I know also of. sell a lot of that stuff at Whole Foods. Deer? Yeah, they sell a deer, buffalo, I don't lamb. Deer here. Yeah. I, I I understand lamb, but not buffalo deer. Oh damn. Yeah. Anyways. Anyway. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> oh, Harden family recipe. Hmm. Why are your pants wet? Well, Amanda, we were out there on the lake, and then I tipped over the boat. And then I actually <gasps> tipped over that boat. <laughs> Oh my god, he took cover for me. Don't worry. All the gear floated to the surface, so we didn't lose anything. Right, Lear? I... It, yeah, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> I can't believe he just covered for me. I mean, Brian's a sweetheart. He's just not for me. <laughs> Damien and Robert are just right up my alley. <laughs> Put those two together. Yep. <laughs> Good God, he even out humbles me. He's trying to beat me at everything, including my world famous sense of humility. <laughs> I thought we already established that. <laughs> <laughs> we finish our fish and end up playing catch with Maxwell for a little while before we decide to head out. After cleaning up the camp, we pack up the station wagon and let Maxwell into the back seat. Poor Pup falls asleep in a cuddle puddle with a man named Daisy. Aww. Aww. They've had a long day. My pants smell like fish. <laughs> Been an ordeal today, bud. Let me drive you guys home. I want to prove that I'm the most awake dad on the block, but yeah, I'm beat. I'm just, I'm dead. Oh, fine. I hate you, Dad. As we drive away, I take one last look at the lake disappearing behind us and smile. I rest my head against the window, and the low rumble of the dirt road beneath us lulls me into a peaceful sleep. Hey, sleepy hit. I don't 
through my eyes and realize that I had dozed off in the car. I self-consciously wipe a bit of drool off my chin. ta -da! Oh, hey, I was resting my eyes. Uh, just in case we suddenly have to jump into any sort of conflict, so I'm super awake for it. <sighs> and ready to fight. Like a man with my strong arms. It's all good. You earned your summer rest, buddy. Thanks for coming out with us today. I had a lot of fun with you. Right. Thanks for inviting us. I also had fun, actually. Glad to hear it. Take it easy, yeah? You too. Take it the easiest. Brian chuckles to himself as he unloads the car. Amanda and I get inside and immediately collapse onto the couch. Oh, long day. Yep. I was so close to that pole saw. Hmm. Pole saw? Yeah, Brian and I were competing to see who catch the most fish and... Ha! Ugh! Stop! Why do you care so much? Pole saw! Panda Panda, just look at that guy! He so obviously got my number and he's rubbing my face in it! Ugh. Dad, I love you. Hmm. But you're kind of dumb sometimes. Um, or clearly the superior dad! You know what? I don't have any of the energy required to proper, proper, uh, plop, 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 properly unpack your weird fix fixation with asserting your masculinity. I'm going to bed. Night. Amanda slides off the couch and face down onto the floor. <laughs> I'm a tired slug. <laughs> My kind of kid. Yeah. Amanda, that floor is disgusting. I've been on too many days to even clean the house. I don't think we vacuumed it since we moved in. I don't care. <laughs> well, good night, honey. Night, pops. Don't eat too close to bedtime. Do -do 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 How are you saving home cooking Hawaiian shirt? Outdoors! Oops. <sighs> Obviously, that's the quote. You know what? Let me mow your lawn this weekend. <laughs> Barry's Brian, holy crap. Pet Welcome. every dog.